Challenge with the AEA semi-auto HP carbine. This thing is a ton of fun. I've got a couple steel targets up here and just kind of want to get back to my action shooting days. As you can see, I've put a red dot instead of a regular scope and I've swapped out the buttstock just because I like the color scheme. But uh, let's have a little fun with this. Come up on target. Oh, look at that. It hits. How about... <laughs> I mean, come on, dude. This, this is why I wanted a semi-auto. Not necessarily because you need something that does that, but man, is it fun to have it. One of the biggest worries with air guns is how sensitive they are. In other words, you know, you, you got to hold it this way. You got to be really careful. You got to transport it in the case. That is not the case with this air gun. This shroud is locked on. I mean, you can do darn near anything that you want. I would happily just literally throw it into the back of my truck. It's the definition of a truck gun in terms of durability. Um, literally slapping the barrel. And then I'm gonna take a shot for you guys. That is an apple sitting right on top of my steel target. And again, let's not worry about sensitivity. Let's see if it held zero. Come on, man. You can't, you can't beat that. I mean, I am pretty, pretty blown away in terms of a truck gun. I've been looking for a gun that I could have a collapsible stock on and literally just toss the dang thing in my truck. I think I just found it. Let's test this thing for accuracy. It's built like a tank. I know I can just throw it in my truck and it breaks down nice and easy, which is cool. Um, this is at 25 yards, which is what I figure is pretty reasonable for squirrel hunting, which is going to be my main purpose for this gun. As a matter of fact, I'm not even going to have uh, bipods on this gun when I'm using it for squirrels, but I figured for the accuracy test, it wouldn't be fair without them. So luckily, Sabre Tactical, those guys over there, Thane and Donnie, the Simmons, they're thinking it out. So we we'll throw on that bottle adapter, lets me put on the AccuTac, get a really nice solid position. We'll shoot up the cider down at the bottom. We'll do, it's a nine shot magazine. So we'll do a five shot and a four shot group. Then we'll go up and check them out. focused here. All right. Nice adjustable butt stock. I actually really do like the way that feels. All right, here we go. Tell you what, <laughs> that's pretty darn good. I'm gonna take four more at the other target. that's all nine let's go check that out you know i was actually shooting this gun before i was getting a lot of flyers and i thought maybe it's the magazine because the magazine spins really fast to catch up with the action um i just cleaned it really good for the first time this is a lot better so clean the gun when you get it from the factory those were all basically headshots on squirrels So that's a five shot group at 25 yards. And this one's a four shot group. There's one out. Now, I didn't have a rear bag or anything. Um, so a little bit of that could be me, but I mean, this gun is not gonna single hole and it really shouldn't guys. I mean, this is a sub thousand dollar semi-automatic uh, PCP with a carbon fiber bottle. I mean, this thing has so much going on for it at that price point. Um, anything like this is more than acceptable. We're talking squirrel headshots at 25 yards all day long. There's something that I'd like to discuss quickly. On the side of the gun, it says you can fill it up to 3,600 PSI, which is about 250 bar. There's one thing though. The action will lock up. 
you'll get valve locked and won't cycle if you do that. What you really want to do is fill it to 225, and then shoot it down to about 150. That'll give you three magazines at least in 30 cal. Plenty of power. It'll stay pretty consistent even though it's not regulated. But again, the gun says 3600 PSI, which is 250 bar. Basically that entire center green, but you want to go about two thirds to three quarters of the way up that green and then shoot it down to the bottom of the green. Otherwise, you won't be happy. The gun won't be happy. It's just the right pressure curve there. Now, while I love this gun, I do have a couple critiques and they're not important to the operation or even the accuracy of the gun. It's just some things that I would change uh, if I was the builder. Now, one of them really isn't all that important. The safety, safe as forward, you pull it back to go to fire. Just from my military days, I would appreciate it if, you know, hitting the safety forward was what disengaged it, not vice versa. That's just a personal preference. Air guns swap safeties around all the time. Uh, it's not an AEA specific thing. Um, you know, the tie pans back here, FX has some guns back here. There's all kinds of different safety configurations. So that's just a preference thing. The one thing that I will say though, that I would love to see changed is make the gun just a little bit longer. And I'm not saying that I want a longer gun. I'm saying that if we gave this gun a little more room, it would be easier to cock. Now for a guy like me, no big deal, pull that um, bolt back, no problem, but it is a little difficult. And the only reason why I would like to see a lighter hammer spring in this is just because this is not a gun that I'm gonna be able to have my 10 year old come out and throw a magazine into. So, you know, in your house, that might actually be a good thing. Um, but we like to shoot in my house and I like to train my kids. And I don't think that he has the hand strength to pull it back. Now, as you can see, for me, no big deal. But I'm a farmer and a guy and, you know, I'm 40 years old. Uh, I just don't see my kid being able to load this gun, which, again, could be a good thing at your house. Um, but if my kid wants to go plank, it would limit me sending him out with this gun just because of how hard the hammer spring is. Now, that being said, the reason why they did that is it's storing a ton of energy. You've got, the, I mean, the barrel is here, guys. Then this is a, a suppressor. So we're talking about a super, super short gun. I mean, if we're gonna actually, just to give you an idea, this is the gun. As a matter of fact, hang on, this is the gun. So to store enough energy to push a 30 caliber pellet at 775 feet per second, it's gonna take some hammer spring tension. Now, I'm not saying that uh, that is a reason not to buy this gun, unless it's for your kid. If it's for you, no big deal. It's just something that I thought I'd point out. And because the gun is so awesomely short, I don't think I'd really miss adding one more inch to make it easier to cock it. That's a personal preference thing too, I suppose. Um, but I thought it was worth mentioning in case, you know, you're in the market for your kids. Um, yeah, that's pretty much the end of my critique. Um, it's relatively quiet. There is an option to put a Donny FL adapter on here so you can make it backyard friendly. And in 30 cal with a short barrel like this, that's actually saying quite a bit. The stock suppressor, however, I feel like is adequate uh, as long as you've got some, some room to roam. Um, I'm not going to have anything on it other than that for, you know, hunting and stuff. It's just something that if you're going to be in your backyard, you might want to take into consideration. Although if you're in your backyard, I would also highly recommend a 22 caliber over the 30 cal because that's quite a bit of power to be slinging around in a neighborhood. Backstop or not, you know, ricochets happen. The grip is really nice. The carbon fiber bottle is awesome. Honestly, for a sub thousand dollar semi-auto gun i'm sold love it love it love it love it i don't think you're going to be disappointed if you get this gun guys thanks so much ben at the pellet shop for hooking me up with this i think aea is going to be a pretty big player going forward i've been looking for a brand that was really well built 
and came in at a budget friendly price because you know we're fx guys right on this channel most of what you're gonna see is fx guns and it's because we love them and it's because no one can beat that kind of precision however there are times when i don't need all that and i might want something just really small and built like a tank that i can literally just toss in my truck um this gun fits all those bills ticks all the boxes for me and again the smallness the durability literally just toss it out on your truck seat go do what I got to do on the farm for the day. And if I end up having a coyote or a fox in my chickens, I've got something that I know will get the job done. Thanks again, guys. Have a great day. Shoot safe. Give this company a look. I think it's going to be a big deal. Three, two. Done. Done, done.